Good morning, everybody. Texan Trout here. It is like 5 a.m. right now, and currently I'm headed out to meet a viewer slash new friend, and we're going to be doing something very special today. Today's gonna be a really special video for me, and I think for you guys, too. I'm gonna be kayak fishing for like the very first time ever. I've never gone kayak fishing. I've, I've gone kayaking when I was like a kid, but I've never personally like gone fishing in a kayak ever. So uh, hopefully today's not too big of a mess. I know I'm probably gonna be pretty clumsy. Hopefully I don't put any of my rods in the water. Uh, hopefully I don't sink it. We're headed out to Choke Canyon, which is just south of San Antonio, about an hour and a half. So uh, I don't really have much else to say, but I gotta get on the road. So I'll be seeing you guys in a little bit. All right, so here we are, Three Rivers, Texas. It's a uh, quaint little industrial town. I've been here a few times in my life. Uh, we're just outside of Choke Canyon right now. Choke Lake, Choke Canyon Lake, something like that, I forgot the name. Uh, sorry if there's a lot of noise, because there's like this big refinery right next to me. Uh, we got the yaks loaded up, as you saw earlier. Right now, Keith's inside of the gas station getting food. So I'm hanging out out here, taking some B-roll shots. And uh, yeah, hoping today's gonna be a pretty successful trip. Like I said, it's gonna be my first day kayak fishing, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Putting ice and water in there. Yep. But there's no one here. What do you got right there? Got the pee. Got to pee. Wait. All right, y'all just got here, Choke Canyon. About to get the uh, yaks out. Man, this is gonna be my first ever like actual lake fishing video. And the first time I've actually ever fished a lake. So I'm gonna be pretty clueless. <laughs> got Keith here, he's gonna hey, be guys. my guide. He's gonna show me what to do out here. Not really a guide, but we're gonna see what we can get on. Well, I'm clueless, so anything is a guide. <laughs> Set it over here off to the side. Oh God! Get it done. Holy moly! Keith's got a Hobie Pro Angler 12. That's it, right? I'm in the Perception Pescador Pilot 120. First time on a yak. Let's hope this goes good. Let's hope I don't go in the water, man. All right, All right where are we headed? Hey, hold up. Hey, the drive keeps moving. The drive is moving. All right, there we go, I got it. I shouldn't worry too much about it tipping over, right? We should be good. All right, All right. you should use the rudder to steer. Huh? You use the rudder to steer? Yeah. All right, cool. Put the, uh, put your, your, the paddle, the paddle, the paddle, the paddle. The paddle. Oh, forgive my mistakes. I'm getting there. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, that wind. Where are we going, KV? Yeah, I think you just need a new pin is all. Yeah. All right, Keith just got a fish, look. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh, let me come over there. A dink. All right, y'all. Gonna be working with the trench hog today. I'm using the June bug color. Let me come over there. Check it out, y'all. Big old fish. <laughs> you got something? Man, you're on like fish four. I'm 
Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. That's a good one. Hey, this is a good fish, dude. This is a good fish. Right by the boat. Oh, came off. Man. So close. That was a good fish, dude. Casted it right on the bank, and when I was hopping it down, he got it. Oh, a nasty one. Talk about baptism by fire, dude. I know. Oh, you're good. I'm not gonna hit you. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, just see if you can tune that right because I'm getting a flash too often. Oh man, it's right handed. I'm gonna suffer with that so much, dude. Butter, right? I like it. I'm not gonna be able to set the hook with my left hand, man. My left sucks. Oh this drive it do oh fish oh my goodness this right hand retrieve is killing me Come on, little man, get up here. Come on. The first yak fish. <laughs> the first yak fish. First yak fish, man. And it's on someone else's rod, of course. Dude, the Kistler rod. Check him out, y'all. You want to get a it's measurement a on him? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Not making a beginner mistake. I know you're supposed to put it that way. Some people just. Whoop. Drop it off the side. Ow, bit me. A little squirt. I'm gonna pull up on your left side. All right, it's a good sized fish, man. Hey, he's got parasites. Oh, those are leeches? Yeah, you see those? Oh, check it out. That's weird. I don't know what the hell that is, You sure they're not parasites? They could be. Because we, we have leeches here, right? Yeah. We have leeches? Okay. Little man, look at him. Oh yeah, I think those are leeches. Here, let's put them on. Other side, other way, other way. There you go. Mouth okay. shut, bud. Mouth shut all the way. Mouth, mouth shut, way. dog. Right. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to shut his mouth. And, uh, uh, I guess the lip is good enough. Oh yeah, man. Let's get a release on him. I would do a slow mo, but I'm not risking dropping my phone in here. That's all right, don't worry about it. All right, goodbye, little. Oh, goodbye, little dude. Good job, man. <laughs> On somebody else's rod, you of see? Of course, man. Yeah, here, I'll just shake one. All right, right now Keith is testing the water over there to make sure that it is not too shallow for us to go through. Because if you uh, run through a shallow area, you might rip the PDL off the bottom. PDL is pedal drive something, L, I don't know. All right, it's a go. There we go. You got something? Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> How big was that? Yeah, I saw that was a pretty good sized fish. Oh, my goodness. Bro. Bro, 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 bro.
That is a big fish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a chunk. Holy moly. Look at that mouth. In the boat. Hold on, let me come over there. If this drive will let me. Whew, that was a crazy fight. Look at him. Holy moly. Get that board. There we go. Fish. Hey! Oh man, on the trench hog. Come here. Feels like another good sized fish. Oh, oh yeah, it's a good sized fish. Oh man. Come here, big guy. Come on. Oh, you threw my trench hog, man. Boat flip. Oh man, look at this dude's lip. Someone has seriously ripped his lip. That hook out. Fish number two, pretty good sized bass. All right, y'all, second bass of the day. Let's get a release on this little guy. There we go. There we go. Little bass. Smallest one all day. Oh man, right through the eye. All right, little man. Hopefully he's okay. Peace. Man, that makes me feel so bad. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Ain't no land lubber. Hey y'all, back on land again. Uh, thankfully I didn't drown or break the kayak like I thought I would. And uh, got three fish, three decent sized fish thankfully. We're about to go out and get something to eat and uh, I'll see you guys over there. Got it done man. y'all me and keith just got back there he is over there <laughs> how many fish did you get man oh, i think like six or seven six or so you got a you got a like a tank out there man for real 18 and a quarter i lost a really good one um you know, it was just one of those days stuff day it was you know, really windy which i don't i don't mind the wind oh you know? the wind was killing me in the beginning man yeah. <laughs> i got used to it though yeah without that uh pedal drive i would have been i would have just I would have drifted away, man. Well, big time, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it's really hard to fish without, uh, without you know, being able to stay, you know, somewhat in place, and uh, that's where that pedal drive really comes in. So today, I learned how to yak, learned how to fish a lake, sort of learn how to fish a lake. Uh, learned that uh, I would just be gone without a pedal drive if we didn't have one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd say it was a pretty decent trip. I'm absolutely just tired, man. Ready to get oh, out of I here. I feel you, dude. I feel you, man. Probably gonna yeah. go home, have some drinks fall asleep face flat Start our day. all right man it was great appreciate yes, it all of course, brother. Of course for sure time. man and, uh, until next time for sure yeah hopefully uh next time the wind can spare us yeah uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and i'll see you guys when i get home fishing trip complete that was just absolutely awesome i am sunburned to heck though i have never when fishing felt smaller than i did today 
like looking out at that just massive open water was just insane to me. I've never felt something like that. Just looking out and realizing that you could never like cast across that. You could never cover even remotely like 10% of that water in one day. It was just ridiculous to me. Learned that my skills need a lot of work because if I were out there fishing by myself, I probably would have just drifted away into nothingness. Really fortunate I got the three fish that I did. Keith ended up getting like I think six or seven, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's more than I get in like two freaking trips. So GG Keith, <laughs> you showed me up. And uh, if you're watching this Keith, thanks for bringing me out, man. I really, really appreciate that. Today was a really awesome day. Uh, had a great time with you, man. Learned a lot of new stuff. It's also a very humbling day for me as well. Lake fishing is just a completely different game, man. But uh, other than that, I don't really have much else to say other than I hope I can do that again because it was awesome, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Hit the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Go ahead and share it with your friends if you liked it. And if you haven't already, show me some support and hit that subscribe button. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.